You know, Mindy, I was thinking about your schedule. Don't you dream of a day when you no longer have the pressure of having to write the show and it, like just pick up a couple of acting parts where you don't have all that pressure? The, the week must be really long if you're writing it and starring in it. It's a ton of work, but right. it's also, it's, it is literally the thing I dreamed about when I was five years old doing. So, and I'm never bored. I'm like, could be overworked, but I'm never bored. So when I go to other people's things, that's like not my dream. I kind of care less about them. Well, how do you write a TV, a hit TV show? Do you just go home and write a pilot script? Is that how you do it? I, um, I thought about all the things that I wasn't able to do in my current situation and said, what are the things I want to do? What are the stories that I can't tell when you do like a mock documentary? And then write that. Right. And so that's kind and of And you sat down and wrote it yourself? Sat down and wrote it myself. Wow. At that point... I'd written, when I left the office in season eight to go do my own show, I'd written like 25 episodes of The Office. And what do you do after you, let's say you write the pilot, who do you give that to? The Fox, do you go right to Fox or did you bring it to everybody? So I had a deal with NBC Studios. They had me in a deal at The Office where I was like, I was going to write and act in The Office and part of the deal is I would write this pilot for them. Okay. And I wrote this pilot. Um, where I'm the lead of the show, I play this OBGYN, and I'm super proud of it, and I turned it into NBC Studios. Right. And NBC decided they took it to the network to see if they liked it, and NBC passed on my show. Uh, yeah. And aren't you defeated? Don't you say, oh, if I can only explain it to them, they would understand. I, it was like one of the worst days, because right. it was my exit strategy. And I'm, by the way, like, I have a huge ego, and anyone who's worked with me in the office, like, I have a lot of confidence, and I think I'm a good writer, and that was sort of, I hadn't thought of it, but I was like, yeah, this is, I'm going to go leave from the office and then I'm going to go do that show. And it was completely devastating. So after NBC, where do you bring it? Do you bring it to Fox? So Kevin Riley at the time was the head of Fox. Kevin he, Riley. Kevin Riley. Okay. And he had been the head of NBC when I got hired on the office. Right. And I actually met him for the job and he'd been a real champion of shows that I liked. Like he was the one that really believed in the office and got us a second season when people really didn't want there to be a second season. And he championed that, he greenlit 30 Rock, and then he left NBC to go run Fox, and so the minute that they passed, I said, let's take it to Fox. Because you knew Kevin was there. I knew Kevin was there. And Your I champion. My, at, you know, at least I had a nice relationship with him right. at that point. They read it that night, I set up a meeting for like the day after or whatever, and I went in and met with them. And he told me, Hey, we, I like the script. I think it's super funny. I want to be in business with you. And he was there with Susanna Makos, who's actually still there and is one of our executives, and said, make these changes and then come back to us. And that was like the test for me. Wow. He had some pretty big changes they wanted to make, not with any of the characters, but like some of the story stuff. Do you do it or you get resentful? Oh, I did it in a, in a, in a heartbeat. You did in a heartbeat. Did. First of all, there were good notes. Second of all, they weren't notes where it's just like, hey, we want you to be the sidekick, and now it's a white girl who's the lead. You know, right, what right. didn't insult me. They still they bought into you as the lead. <clears throat> they bought into me as the lead, and the tone of it they liked, which, as you know, tone is so important. They didn't want it to be a multicam show with a laugh. You know, they didn't ask me to do something like that.